Brad Riley, President of Aerocharger. Uh, we've got a couple guys with us today. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit about what we've been doing. To my right, uh, I've got Calvin Felker. He's a racer for us, for our, our race team. And uh, to my left, we've got Heath Frisbee. Um, Heath, give me just a quick rundown of your history in the snowmobile world. I started as a mountain rider, just riding basically here yep. in McCall and Cascade, Idaho. Um, with my dad and brother and family members and stuff and started doing a couple contests had fun with it the first one that I did I actually won what do you got coming up here in a month or so you know right now is really crunch time for me as far as X Games at this point we have pretty much two months from right now yep. and we really really train hard from this point on. Myself, another couple of monster athletes, Joe Parsons and Corey Davis, and basically just working as hard as we can to get ready for Winter X Games and, I mean, produce results. Last year you pulled off the first front flip ever. Um, has anybody even tried to accomplish that since? You know, um, someone's gonna eventually do it. It's just like the backflip, it's just like anything as technology progresses and riders progress with that, um, with snowmobiles getting better and uh, you'll see something, you'll always see something new and there'll be somebody down the road. How many sleds do you practice with and compete with? Um, I have four sleds uh, that I practice with and mainly just to really keep like punishment on them low right. and you know get one of them kind of going and get it set up how you like it and then switch to the next one get it set up how you like it and right. switch to the next one and mainly for backups um, for 90 percent of the stuff that we do we don't have to really have anything too crazy it's mainly like a basic freestyle setup which is almost a hundred percent to a perfect racing setup you know, for, you know, we're always trying to make more horsepower and, and absorb the bumps or whatever. For you, it's just it's got to be consistent. You jump on that, you got to know what that sled's doing. Yeah. Because a few mile an hour would make a big difference in your jump, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd make a massive difference, and it's just all like you said. The biggest thing with consistency, if if it's not consistent or it doesn't work right, then mentally it just set you back. Even if it physically didn't do anything to you, right. mentally for this set amount of time where you get back into your comfort zone if your snowmobile you know bogs or does anything it weird does. it just kind of screws with you a little bit and uh, that stuff can be very difficult so we run a pretty standard just the standard ski do uh, open mod kit that the racers use for snow cross and our mechanics go through them and just fine tune everything to exactly what we need and it's usually pretty pretty much perfect right. So what are you going to be uh, using this year for your recreational riding? You know, I'm pretty excited. I just got this new XM, and um, you guys from Aerocharger came and put this little thing on here, this turbo, and I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I've never ridden one, really, except for really early stage ones when I was younger, and I was never really too into it. There was a lot of lag and a lot of weird stuff going on with it because they were carbureted, so it was always a constant mess. And we put this thing on, and you guys are like, just start it and let's go. We'll <laughs> make sure that everything's okay. I'm like, uh, well, we gotta push buttons or anything? No, just ride. Did you start it? Started first pull. <laughs> Did we push I, we didn't buttons? touch any buttons. <laughs> I was really worried about the inconsistency and like spooling up and how gnarly, but the only time it's ever, holy, you know, this is crazy is when you're wide open. The rest of the time it's, it's a manageable increase. Um, it's definitely like can get you out of some trouble and it's, it's for boondocking, like, it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect for those deep snow days where everyone else is struggling and you're just like, well, I'll see you guys up here, I'll break trail, I guess. Yeah. You owe me a belt. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a little different look going on there with yours. Um, what else do you have in store for your, for your sled? Um, right now it's stock. Uh, I changed the suspension, stiffened it up. I'm a bigger guy, I like to jump like Heath. So I went with a real stiff suspension setup. I'm gonna change the valving. 
a little bit to complement uh, the stiffer springs. I went with the powder plow. I haven't ran one yet in deep powder. Try it out and see how it works. I really I like the looks of it. I went with the lower bar. Something that I personally like is just a little bit lower bar. It's like two inches lower on this one. You just like your hand grip to be lower in reference to your body and your shoulders. Yep. Yeah, I just I just like a lower bar. I think they're a little too high. Uh, stock? <laughs> Well, I plan on I plan on turboing it. Oh, yeah. okay. Like I said, it's stock right now, but it, it, you gotta have an aero charger if you're gonna. Especially me in Colorado, it's such high altitude. You know, you gotta you gotta have boost. You've you've modified your handlebars on this your riser just to get them where they're comfortable to you because you have a unique riding style. Um, other than that, do you feel that this sled needs any more tweaking to make it personalized for you? Um, Aside from obviously the turbo, which is a major power improvement. I don't really think that I'm going to do a whole lot to it. I am going to probably do a little bit with the suspension because I do jump stuff and you know this trail this is a perfect sled for the average guy that's going out and doing whatever but I am planning on to jump 100 plus feet on this thing and I'm going to need a little bit more shocks for that. And I think you get the power for it too. Yeah we're definitely going to be uh, having no problems in the lack of power. <laughs> SCS wrap. You gonna have those guys do something? You know, I thought it would be really sweet for this year for my mountain sled. I mean, it's an aero charger that I put on this thing. We're going crazy with that. I want to do something crazy with like little aero chargers and uh, they're building a pretty cool wrap and it's definitely like next level like concept design as far as their designs are. And um, it's gonna be pretty sweet. So hey, we're, we're sitting here and we've got uh, something kind of cool behind us that is a, a new project for you. I mean, this is the Mirage Extreme right here, which is a car hauler slash snowmobile hauler. Um, UTVs. UTVs, whatever. It's got a little bit extra height. And this is a 32-foot trailer. The guys from SCS came, did the wrap last night, killed it. It's amazing, really like it. And then as far as the interior of the trailer, so it is killer inside. that's what they do, and they killed it. The, like, the, the, the boot and the glove warmers and you know, the TV and the yep. stereo system, the inside's killer on it, which I was really surprised. For the rest of the year, we've got uh, we've got to get back. We've got a lot of work to do on the hill climb circuit. And then uh, you've got the X Games coming up. Uh, after the X Games, let's all get back together and, and uh, do some riding. So, thanks for uh, taking time to watch it.